I am in Chiang Mai, Northern Thailand, where I've been spending the last couple of weeks exploring the north of the country by motorcycle. And what a trip it's been. I'm really excited to show you all the incredible things that I've seen, eaten, discovered. Thanks so much for coming along for the ride. I went to the library and grabbed a whole bunch of books. I just can't wait to go from this to this. I'm at the YVR airport, just getting ready to take my flight over to Taiwan, which is the first leg of my Asia adventure. It's so cold. I'm excited, I'm nervous. I am definitely looking forward to the trip. I have arrived in Taipei after a 12 hour flight from Vancouver. I am going to take a government funded tour that's offered for free for passengers like me who have a layover here in Taipei. So it's pretty cool that they offer this. I am standing in front of Taipei 101, Taiwan's biggest building. It's one of the tallest skyscrapers in the world. I arrived last night in the middle of the night and I'm so tired today. The plan is to spend a few days in Bangkok and then I'm gonna fly up north to Chiang Mai where the motorcycle adventure will begin. I woke up early this morning to try to catch the sunrise, but I wasn't really sure where the best place was to go. I ended up here and it is beautiful. That's a really famous temple, the Wat Arun. Chiang Mai is a 700 year old city that uh, still has the remnants of the original wall. I am on my way to go pick up my motorcycle. I'm really excited. I'm getting a Honda CB500X. It's the 2018 model. It looks quite a bit like mine from back home. Nam, you're the part owner of this company? Yes, so the car is I'm the owner of this shop. We open about two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yes. And a lot of tourists, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Small Europeans. Europeans, yeah. And some Canadians. Uh, yes. More. More and more. Yes. Bikes all packed up and ready to go. It's pretty hot, so I am ready to hit the road. official proof I made it to the highest point in Thailand. It is pretty anticlimactic. You would expect an amazing viewpoint or something, but alas, all you have is just this lovely sign. So I just started out my journey and I am already amazed by the beauty. The riding is super windy and the locals just come whipping around the corners and they'll often be passing into the oncoming lane. So yeah, I'm just taking my time.
there is a big festival happening tonight here in May Sarang. I got my dinner for 20 baht. $1.25 Canadian. Can't beat that. The food here is so inexpensive and so delicious. You can just get amazing noodles pretty much anywhere you go. One of my favorite dishes here is the cow soy, a specialty from the north. It's a coconut curry based dish. I've been binging on it pretty much every day and I know I'm gonna miss it when I go back to Vancouver. This is the start of day two of a motorcycle trip. I'm here in Mesa Rang, where I just spent a really nice night at Joe's guest house here. It was great. I slept like a rock last night. So we're ready to head out. Just made a quick pit stop here about an hour out of Mesa Rang. It's been a nice ride so far, but definitely a mix of road conditions. It was really nicely paved for the first little bit and then it was all road work. And I understand now why Google was saying it was gonna take about three hours to get 120 kilometers. I was wondering. I just met the loveliest people at this pit stop. They offered me some kind of rice uh, snack they had made. This is why I love traveling. You just connect with people even though you don't speak the same language. Uh, you speak the language of kindness and, and the language of food, of course. I just arrived in Mei Hong Song and it is so beautiful here. This is day three now of my road trip, which is crazy because it feels like I've been on the road for at least a week. I've just done and seen so much. I've had the chance to meet a lot of great people along the way, both locals and other travelers. You end up running into a lot of the same travelers that are doing the same Mei Hong Song loop. Last night I had the chance to eat dinner and uh, go out with a few of them and had some great street food at the night market here. It's so lovely here in Mei Hong Song. It's just very authentic. The riding around here is great. The road is so curvy everywhere. I also got the chance to visit a traditional long neck village. It was really neat to see the handicrafts and learn a little bit about their tribe. We're all searching, always searching for the easy way down. You have to take this boat across. really excited to continue the journey today. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna go. I'm just winging it day by day. So here in Thailand, they have full service everywhere you go.
Ja. Really? How long have you been here? Just three days. Huh? Just three days? Yeah. Where are you I'm, from? Uh, from Canada. Canada, right? Wow, it's such a nice country. Though. So nice. Yeah, but your country, wow. So now I have to bring that bag up to my bungalow, which is up there. A bunch of other bikers just came and parked next to mine, so now I have company. Hey. I just met these wonderful bikers from Bangkok. They're all on big bikes, bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely love this place you can have noodles at this noodle coffee shop there overlooking the mountains and the ride up here of course was just classic Mei Hong San Loop twisties all the way I am really looking forward to seeing the sunrise tomorrow morning it's gonna ascend over this valley here right behind me and I've heard it's quite epic I'm just falling in love with Thailand more and more every single day. I didn't sleep as much as I would have liked because the roosters were up and crowing at 5 a.m. well before sunrise, but it meant that I was nice and alert for sunrise and what a view it was. Yesterday was a really nice day. I got the chance to check out the Tomlot Cave with a new friend that I met here at the lodge that I'm staying at. Today I'm riding over to Pai and I'm going to meet my friend Thomas who's flying in from Taiwan.
completed that stretch from Mei Hong San over to Pai. Amazing twisties. A little bit sketchy, but so much fun! We're just driving by and all of a sudden there's some elephants on the side of the road. It's kind of cool to see, but they're in a pretty confined little space there. So I feel pretty bad for them because they should probably be out roaming. at this pit stop and all of a sudden this guy rolls in <laughs> and look who it is my yes. friend Thomas randomly just met up just on the side of the road here I was just enjoying this beautiful viewpoint so we're gonna be spending the next couple of days checking out the sights and seeing what pie has to offer <laughs> I'm just here at uh, Hot Springs with Thomas and a couple other friends. I feel like I could stay in these pools all day long. The temperature is just, just the right temperature, so it's not too hot. amazing bridge this beautiful bridge and we came in the evening there's barely anyone here so it's just us enjoying this incredible place it's just so peaceful and so perfect right now the temperature the weather the lighting it's like a little slice of paradise here up here in Pi. It's our last day and Thomas and I are parting ways. He's going to finish the Mei Hong Sun loop that I just completed and I'm going back to Chiang Mai to return this bike. It's been awesome, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, we really like Pi. Except right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> the sun is very hot right now. It's really warm. It definitely would have been better to leave earlier today, but a few things happened and I slowed <laughs> down the pace a little bit. I woke up in the morning and had a sudden realization that I had left my camera the night before we had been hanging out and I remembered leaving it in the field. So I rushed over first thing in the morning to go see if it was still there and sure enough when I got there it was still exactly where I had left it. I'm back at Pie Bridge. The farmer that helped last night with the swing over there, he kept my camera, which I left. He kept it safe for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's really one of the main reasons why I love traveling here is just how honest people are here. It makes for such an enjoyable trip.
made it. I survived Chiang Mai traffic. I'm so hot. So hot. I'm wearing so many layers. Oh. Today I am back in Chiang Mai and I'm watching the Flower Festival Parade. It is absolutely incredible. There are dozens of floats, each from different districts of Chiang Mai, and the beauty and the details and the color is just next level. It is so amazing. Hello, <laughs> and I am Chip from Thailand. He's from here in Chiang Mai. From Chiang Mai, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and can you tell us about the Flower Festival? Flower Festival. Um, have in the winter, in the cold weather, uh, beautiful, beautiful flower. Because of the cold weather, the flowers really thrive in this yes, time. Yes. Yeah, so all the roses and all these beautiful flowers, it's so amazing. You're lucky to live here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Northern Thailand has exceeded my every expectation. It's just, it's more beautiful than I imagined. The people are kinder than I imagined. The food is even more tasty than I imagined. It's just such an amazing place. And I really hope that my video inspires you to take a trip here. Thank you so much for watching, for all your support and encouragement on my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next adventure.